What does it mean if someone is said to have an autism spectrum disorder? You could say that people with autism are always unique, totally interesting, and sometimes mysterious. Clinicians see autism spectrum disorder as a developmental disability that includes various symptoms from three main areas, namely impairments in social interactions, impairments in communication, and repetitive or restrictive behaviors, interests, or activity. Here, when the teacher removes the pieces of the toy, the child does not look back up at her. Children who lack joint attention have problems look. to share and follow attention with other people. Children with autism can have problems with recognizing emotion of others, but also with expressing how they feel themselves. The girl in the video is not able to recognize that the woman hurt herself. Impairments in social communication include that children with autism can have problems with language skills. 30% of people with autism are expected to never be able to speak. People with autism may speak in unusual ways, such as making inappropriate or inflexible use of speech volume, intonation and rhythm or by repeating words from other people. They also can have difficulties to engage in reciprocity of a conversation and tend to understand phrases literally instead of the meaning behind the words. Good morning, James. Good morning, James. How are you today? How are you today? Did you have a fun weekend? Yeah, you, you had fun. Children with autism can also show impairments in pretend play. Hey Chance, the phone's ringing, ring, ring, ring. Ring, 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 hello, hello. Phone's ringing, your turn. Ring, 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 hello. Restricted repetitive behaviors, interests or activities include repetitive body movements such as hand flapping, toe walking or spinning, but also preoccupations with specific parts of objects. Other behaviors that are often related to autism are hyper or hypo sensitivity to external stimuli. People with autism can react highly negative to stimuli like light, smell, sound or touch. Contrary, they can also seek stimulation for these senses. Autism spectrum disorder is seen as a lifelong disorder even though symptoms can change in their patterns and severity while a person develops. Most of the time, autism develops in one of two patterns. Either children develop symptoms within the first year of life, this is called the early onset development, or children first develop typically within the first two years of age and then a regression of earlier developed skills occurs. In this figure, you can see developmental milestones for typically developing children that are important indicators for autism. Children with autism often do not reach those milestones within the expected age range and some children won't reach the milestones at all. The life of a child with autism is challenging for both the children themselves but also for their families. The challenges I've found, um, even now, though my children are in school, the constant um, challenges are they're actually they're always behind. They're always behind academically, so you're always playing catch up. So it's that constant. Okay, what can I do next? How can I teach her to tell the time? How can I try and get her to tie her shoelaces? And it, there's that you're always you're always pushing. It keeps you awake at night. It keeps you awake at night as to okay, what can I do now to help my child? The question is, does technology help or harm children with autism? Technology can withhold the development of children with autism. Obsessive technology use can result in less social skills, worse academic performance and smaller attention span. Technology can also be used as a supportive tool to help children with autism and their parents to manage the daily challenges. In the following videos, you can see how other parents use technological devices for the daily challenges of autism. Here you go. These devices on a typical day are with him 
all the time. Come. The speech therapist needs training on it. Um, and then the family also needs training on it. One of the best things about this device is it can, it's dynamic, so it's changing with us all the time. So we can work with the displays and make it fit exactly what we're trying to teach him. Cookie. Come on. On there. Daddy. Daddy, that's right. Good job. Good job. Let's Be Social, an iPad app designed to help model and teach social skills to children with autism spectrum disorders or developmental delays. Let's Be Social teaches kids of all ages the pragmatic skills of recognizing emotions, solving problems, predicting outcomes, and forming friendship. Ready? A small new piece Hear that? fell into place. <laughs> that is the sound of relief. Jacob's nervous system being stimulated by buzzies. His mom Sherry calls it a game changer and says the change is instant. For him to be calm and doing his work is amazing. Uh, that uh, not only did Eli grow, but but I grew um, as a, as a parent and as a, a facilitator in his educational process. Um, he continued to truly wow me every week um, that we were in the study and it was very special to me when he would come up to me and wake me up in the morning and say mom mom Eli mommy iPad time <laughs> Eli mommy iPad time that was something that I look forward to every morning as you could see in these videos technology can change your life it can give support during everyday life and thereby improve both your life and the life of your child.